All things are just soft. People are holding on to money a little bit more. Um, customers that come in are still buying. There's just not as many customers coming in, and there haven't been that many changes in the market as far as new players. Well, we're very fortunate in middle America. It hasn't had a tremendous effect. Last year was our third best year ever. We have, we find that we're spending more on basics and less on frou-frou, and the customers seem to appreciate that. Well, my business has been actually terrific. I think the economy, um, um, in the industry we're in, is a little bit um, recession-proof, resistant anyway, and uh, my business has actually been up 20 to 30 percent every year, and this month I'm up 41 percent, so actually it's been a very positive thing. <laughs> it has slowed our growth. It's, you know, larger items are not selling as well, so we kind of have to look at smaller items, look at cooking classes and ways to bring people into the store. It's still down, um, but it's it has made it so that I have to work very hard for each customer that comes in, each transaction. I'm doing a lot more emails, I'm doing a lot more um, advertising and you know, just really trying to get people more events, to get stuff in the store, and just telling my co my staff it's my responsibility to get them in the store. It's your responsibility to sell. Um, it did affect our customers, and they had to be smarter about what they purchased. They were looking for quality. They were looking for durability. So um, customer service became more important than ever. Um, a trained staff became more important, so we were able to ha help those people make good judgments based on um, budgetary reasons and just reasons they needed to cut back and be more cautious. So. Uh, well, 2008, the business went down just a little bit, but otherwise we've been up ever since and we're still with double-digit growth, so I'm excited about that. The economy has affected our business by um, having to go to lower price points and um, basically just taking it back to square one again. You just have to do the buying tighter, smaller orders, um, keep the, uh, don't repurchase things that aren't turning. And you got to be a little flexible in trying some new things, but I'm not necessarily buying, you know, uh, a gross of something. I'm buying 48. Uh, maybe a little bit more marketing, consistently um, finding uh, new ways to get customers in, doing different types of events, bringing guest chefs in. I think the biggest mistake most businesses make, large or small, is when the economy takes a downturn, they cut back on two things, advertising and labor costs. And those are exactly the two things that they should increase in order to increase business when the economy is bad. Um, I probably have slowed down some of my buying. It's not as aggressive as it used to be, and that looking a little bit more at smaller things and that I'm um, trying to upsell, make sure the staff knows this goes with this. I'm looking for um, lower price points on nicer items. Um, it used to be that people would come in looking for 75 to $100 wedding presents. Now they're looking for 50 to 75 but they want the same quality, so I'm looking for that myself. Promotions and smart buying became even more important so we could pass those savings on to our customers. Um, and just, again, um, better displays, more interaction, more excitement um, to sort of draw the customers in and convince them that even though money was tight, it was still a, a good thing to invest in good quality um, kitchen goods. Basically what we did is um, I just stripped it back down to the basics, just like America's out of control, my business was out of control. So I went through expense by expense, and by doing that I cut a third of my monthly expenses and then we're just keeping um, lower stock now whereas I might have 12 of something before now I'm down you know to lower pars order more more often. Um, really yeah. over the last two years I've pretty strategically uh, moved one of my locations I've tried to improve my position in location and you know inexpensive real estate inexpensive build out and I'm just opening a new store so positioning myself for better economic times.